feeling something heavy. I don't know. Either we're stuck or something's holding on to it. We got one. Oh, shoot. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. Corpus Christi Chris here. Today is going to be sweet and simple. I'm going to be using dead shrimp as bait. Nothing too crazy. Usually my channel is all about lure fishing, but this time I just want to catch anything today. And you never know, we might catch a monster. So stay tuned, stick with me. Let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and get these shrimp on here. Like I did say, I usually do lure fishing on this channel, but you know what? We're gonna make it easy for us today. I'm go ahead and throw some dead shrimp out. As my brother Anthony would say, fresh dead. <laughs> he knows what I mean. <clears throat> First guess. Come on. They're machine gunning it right now. Come on. We just donated the first shrimp to the cause. <laughs> Come on. Come on. There we go. That's one. Not a big one, but that's fish. I'm doing a little fight. Probably a croaker. Yep. Oh yeah. Decent little croaker. Oh no, wait. That's a pig fish. Nice. Haven't had one of these in a while. It's a good little pig fish. And he's grunting like a pig. There we go, guys. That's the first fish. Nice little pig fish. All right. Let's get it back. There you go, buddy. Nice. I like to put them right through the tail. Put them through. And I don't know if you guys do this, but me, I just take the heads off. I feel like the heads, they get picked off pretty easy. And it's just a way for them to. And if I could, I like to take the legs too. It's a way for them to not really be picking at it too much so they can go for the whole shrimp. There's a saying that I've heard. Elephants eat peanuts. I don't know if you guys ever heard that. But pretty much, obviously, an elephant's a massive animal. Peanuts are small. Shrimp are small. There's a big old fish out here. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna tighten my line up. Let that egg sinker sink to the bottom. Just wait for that bite to happen. Get a good hook set. And I always ignore these tiny little, I don't, I don't go for those. See that? I don't go for that. That's too soon. I go for that night. There we go. See that nice long drag that comes down? That's what I normally look for. There we go. Might be a trout. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Might be a trout. I'm going to keep it tight. That's a good fish, you guys. Oh, wow. Dude, I've never caught one of these before. This is my first time catching one of these. Wow, that's a good one, you guys. I think it's either a pompano. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Let's talk about multi species today. I've never caught one of these. Does he have any teeth? No, he doesn't. This is a beautiful fish, man. I've never caught one of these. Yeah, I think it's a pompano. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, in the comments. Let me know. Almost looks like the body shape of a GT. Alrighty, dude, thanks for the bite. Look at that, you guys. That's a good looking fish. Fish number two. Woo! <laughs> I think we got a fish, guys. Oh, got a good one. Oh, that's a good one, guys. Might be a red or a drum. Oh, he's fighting. Stay on, stay on, stay on. What is it? What is it? Ooh, it's a good one. It might be a drum or a red. Ooh. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Son of a gun, dude. I haven't seen him yet. Oh, it's a flounder. Nice, dude. We're having a really multi-species day. Nice. Nice. That's freaking awesome. That's what I'm talking about, you guys. 
Yeah. Hopefully we can land. Got him, guys. Whew. Nice. Good little flounder. Get him measured out for you guys, too. Get the hook out of him. Nice. All right. Look at that, guys. Nice little flatty. Really good multi-species kind of day, guys. Really good. Measure them out. I'm guessing he's like a 15 incher. Oh, on the money, dude. 15 inches. Look at that. Nice. Cool. Nice fish. See you later, bud. All right, you guys. We're doing really good. We're doing really good. And every fish we caught is different. We haven't caught a fish that's the same as the last. That's awesome. I got a fish, guys. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on, what is it? Oh, no way. Did we just get another flatty? Yo, we just got another flatty. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is so cool. Looks about the same size, another 15 incher. Probably just a little smaller. Got some flatties down there, huh? Nice. All right, buddy, hold on. You're only hurting yourself, man. <laughs> oh, man, what a feisty one. Nice little flatty. Not even going to measure him, guys. He looks about the same, probably just a little shy under that, maybe 14, 13. It's a good one. See you later, buddy. Ooh, nice. He was ready. I think we got another fish, guys. I'm going to set the hook. Yep, it might be another flat. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. What is it? What, Dude, we are killing these flounders. There's a school of them down there, bro. These guys are lucky we're not doing a freaking catch and cook, man. Jeez, dude. Third one. Look at that, guys, another one. Flounder number three in a row. And I'm literally catching these guys back to back within like two to three minutes. Nice. Woo! What I like to do, me and my brother, when you, we used to fish freshwater, we did this thing called pocket worm. And all it is is putting worms in your pocket. So same thing, but putting shrimp in my pocket, I don't care. I'm a fisherman. It makes it easier for me to not keep coming back when I just pull it out of my pocket. Pop that head off. Pocket shrimp. Oh, what is that? Something small. A bit like a king, though. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Oh, nice little pigfish. Cool. Cool. So that's our second pigfish of the day. That was the first fish we caught today. Nice. That was actually a pinfish. I don't know why I called it a pigfish. It's a pretty decent one. The water is not this stagnant out here in Corpus. Usually the waves are hitting hard, the wind is blowing hard, but it's a really chill day today. There we go. Something. Ah, foul hooked him. What is it, a croaker catfish? Croaker. We don't have one of those. He's not big, but we got a croaker now. There's the smallest fish of the day, guys. A little croaker. All right. So let's try to finish it off. Catch one more good one. Let's see what we get. Feeling something heavy. I don't know. Either we're stuck or something's holding on to it. We got one. Oh, shoot. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Last fish, dude. That's a good one. He's not fighting. It might be another flat. What is it? Flat, a drum, a red. I don't know if he knows he's hooked or if he's just not wanting to fight. What is it? What is it? 
Oh, oh, freaking stingray. Man, I do not like stingrays. Jeez, hey, that's our last one. Dang, he was fighting like he was a freaking big one. It's a big stingray. He's not massive, but that's a big one. Sorry, buddy, but you're not what I want. Alrighty, you guys, check that out. Got a little stingray. It's our last fish of the day, not bad. That's how we finish it off. Got the hook off safely. It was pretty hard with that barb. I'm going to go ahead and just push them in there. I get really sketched out with these stingray. I've heard people getting cut by these, and I really don't want to go through that. So go ahead, bud. There he goes. <laughs> wow, we'd had such a good day of fishing, man. We did pretty good, you guys. We did pretty good. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. We wanted to do something different on the channel. Usually I don't use dead shrimp. Um, I need to start doing that more often, honestly, because you know, you can, you never know what you're gonna catch when you use dead shrimp. Probably next time we'll do a video on like live mullet, dead mullet, uh, catching pinfish and using that as bait, probably something like that. So we can just keep doing another multi-species video. If you guys really, what is that, a web? Sorry. <laughs> Just kept getting something behind me here. Let me know down in the comment section below um, and we'll try something like this again. Let me know in the comment section which fish was your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Corpus Christi Chris. If you liked the video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe, share it. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love. This channel is slowly starting to grow. Help us keep growing, guys. Keep letting people know about my channel. Please help me grow, guys. We can do it. We can get up there. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2022. Maybe we can pass it even faster. I don't know. Help me out, guys. I'm a small channel. I'm barely at 207, 208, I think. I really appreciate the love and support that you guys have been doing. I'll catch you on the next episode.